Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers has been suspended for the rest of the Major League Baseball season for his involvement in taking performance enhancing drugs and violating in general the MLB's drug policies. Well, all I can just do is shake my head and wonder why guys go the route of deny, 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 and then when they're caught, oh, I'm sorry for taking drugs. Why don't guys just say, you know what, all right, you caught me, I'll serve my suspension, and that is it. Now, what Braun has done, he's made himself a liar to many of his peers, to the fans, to the media, after a great year in 2012 where he had 41 home runs. And now, in a year where the Brewers are awful, it won't matter that much he's gone, but still, to do guys like this, it just sucks. And it shows, all, and it shows contrary to what Bud Selig said about steroids and drugs in general, saying how baseball is the cleanest saying that baseball is the cleanest it's ever been, or the cleanest it's been in a long time. And, and, and bud, why is it, if it's a clean game, then why are so many guys under investigation for steroids? Why is A-Rod facing possibly a lifetime ban from the game if the MLB is clean? Explain that to me, Mr. Commissioner. The drug culture in me in sports, you know what? You're a king for the 5, 10, 15 years. You are invincible. You are the best of the best. But is it really worth it? the damage to your body. Is it really worth one day having all of it exposed and having everything that you've done in your career questioned for the rest of your days? To me, I don't think it's worth it. Look at Sammy Sosa, look at Barry Bonds, look at Mark McGuire. They are gonna get scrutiny for the rest of their lives over what happened years ago. The 1998 home run chase with Sosa and McGuire they're still facing heat over that. It's steroids. With McGuire basically admitting that, yes, I did take steroids. In that home run chase, the only guy who you could basically say was clean was Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball is in quite the quagmire, if you ask me. The fact that drugs are still hovering around so many players is insane. People say, oh, we like guys who can jump over the fence and rob home runs, and the guys who can hit the 400-foot long home runs. Don't get me wrong. There are guys in baseball who are as clean as a whistle. There are guys who go out there and have natural, God-given talents. But I hate the fact that there are still guys who need that extra oomph, that need that drug enhancement. Sports, it's tough because we're in an era where if a guy is too good, if he's too gifted, immediately he has the label as steroid user. Could you imagine Bo Jackson emerging on the scene in today's era? A MLB and an NFL player who's over 245 pounds like a gazelle and hits linebackers like a truck? Immediately, what would our sporting culture say about Bo Jackson? This dude's on juice. There is no way he's natural. Absolutely not. In the 80s, where steroids, it was known, but people didn't assume that every single athlete that had power and was gifted was on them. It was an era of more innocence back then. Now, there's no way Bo doesn't face accusations of being on drugs every day he steps out of his door and onto a field, be it football or baseball.